Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Karen Prince and I'm back with another hair video. First of all, I miss you guys. I haven't seen you guys in a while. Even it's not like I can see y'all through the camera, but I feel like when y'all comment, I see you and you see me, okay? So I do miss you guys. Um, So first off, I wanna say that I tried something different, okay? Now, of course, we've all seen like the sew-in braid hybrid, but this time I wanted to try some French braids, okay? So we got a sew-in French braid boho style, okay? This is my first time trying something like this. It popped up in my head. I was like, hmm, I think that'll be cute. However, if you don't like the cornrow situation, I am going to show you how to do the regular braids. Also, because I have two rows of regular braids under the French braids, because I needed to do that to help conceal the tracks. I'm going to show you how to conceal the tracks of your sewing so it's not showing in the back. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first time doing this style, and yeah, so you know, give me some grace. Okay, I am not the best French braider, but we are here, and I wanted to execute this style and I didn't want to give up so my braids my french braids gonna be looking a little uh, the parting and the braids are gonna be looking a little janky but that's okay okay because I know somebody is gonna be able to execute this style down all right so this is inspiration and as always take my video as inspiration and then modify it to make it fit you inspiration does not always mean replication anyways I'm rambling a lot I hope you guys enjoy this video and here we go. Okay, so let's get into this. First off, we're going to start with hair details. We are using hair from the brand Y Wigs. This is their loose wave um, texture. We're going to be using bundles and bulk human hair because we are doing a sew in. Now this is what the hair looks like prior to me washing it and prior to the texture that you saw in the video, okay? All the information for the hair will be in the description box and how many bundles I used is on the screen. As far as the synthetic hair, this is just what I used. I did go with a number four, but you can go with any number that you choose is best for you. I only used two packs of synthetic hair. Okay, so for the sewing part, I did go ahead and braid my hair into like somewhat of a beehive. I went ahead and made a U part at the top of my head and then I sectioned out enough hair that was best for me for how much of the sewing I actually wanted done in my head. And then this is just what the hair looks like after I washed it. Okay, so this is the first bundle I'm going to install and I'm going to keep this bundle folded in half and that is how I'm going to install it. So it's going to be like double the weft essentially. The first thing I'm going to do is take my needle and hook it into my braid at the bottom so I can make sure the needle is attached to my braid. And then I like to go ahead and actually take my needle and stick it through the wefts for the first part of my install just to ensure security then i like to go ahead and take a clip to pin my track up against my head okay sometimes you'll see me sewing underhand and overhand uh i don't know how to really explain i just do what's comfortable okay but the most important thing to do is to make your stitches close together to ensure security Okay, so after I sew down the first part of the track, I'm going to go ahead and flip my bundles and I'm not going to cut my wefts for this first bundle. So I just like do the flip over method. I flip it, I hold it in place and I stitch it down a couple of times until I feel that it's secure. So this is what it looks like after I've sewn my first bundle in. That is the first complete bundle all sewn in. Okay, now moving on to the second bundle, I'm still going in with double tracks here. So for the second bundle, the track is still double and then I'm going to start sewing up on the side of my head so that the hair falls in the direction that I want it to. It's going to fall forward a little bit. 
after I sew down this part, then I'm gonna go ahead and take the track around and then sew it up on the other side. For the next track, I did not double it. Now this is the part where I started to install single tracks only. So there's one single track going across there. And then after that, I went ahead and added the next track, which is also a single track. And that will complete two bundles in my head. So this is what a full two bundles looks like. And then I only use one track from the last bundle. So you'll see me here sewing it into my head again i just make sure my stitches are close together and when i end the stitches i make sure i tie them off so that it does not come loose so i cut it and tie it i don't have any clips showing me doing that but i do cut it and tie it about three times and this is what it looks like after i've sewn in the bundles okay very full very beautiful Okay, so up next is, I'm gonna show you guys how I installed the traditional braids. Now for the synthetic hair, I took a ruler, I put the top of the ruler at the fold of the synthetic hair and measured down to 17 inches and I cut the hair. Now this is the size of synthetic hair I'm gonna be using. I want the braid to be relatively small, so I just went with a very small piece. This is what the human hair looks like. And then I'm just gonna be using this edge control. And then I'm also gonna be using some nail glue to secure my ends, okay? Now, I like to go ahead and just hold one side of my synthetic hair in one piece and split the other. And then I start to braid my natural hair along with the synthetic hair. And as soon as I start braiding, I add in that first piece of human hair. We want it to be right at the start. I lay it against my head and then I begin to braid down. For the human hair piece, the first piece that we're adding in, you want it to be a, a good size, like not too thin because that's what's gonna actually help us hide the tracks. Now going down the length of the braid, this is how I like to add in the hair so it does not fall out. I take the short end of the human hair, add it into the middle. Then the long piece of human hair is added into one of the side strands. I braid down for a little while, then I pull it out. Doing this method ensures that the hair will not fall out of the braid. So I love this method. This is my favorite method to use. Now for the bottom of the braid, we're just gonna do the same method. This time we're not going to pull the hair out. We're actually just gonna braid down until we get a good amount of way down past our natural hair. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in the nail glue. I like to add the nail glue on both sides of the braid. I know it doesn't really look like nothing is going on there, but I assure you I put glue on this braid, okay? <laughs> After I put the glue on there, I like to just fan it a little bit when you fan the braid before you roll it or let it dry down a little bit, before you roll it, you won't get that white residue, okay? After that, I go ahead and cut off the synthetic hair. Make sure you cut the synthetic hair off the ends of the braids because I don't dip my braids and you don't want that synthetic hair poofing out on the end of your braid. Also, go ahead and cut the you know, hair that may be sticking out along the braid. Go ahead and cut that off. Okay, go ahead and pause to read. This is a little mini uh, hair chart, okay? Um, please don't come for me for my dandruff. My parting is janky. Everything is just so janky, and I apologize, but you get the gist, okay? You can see how, how many braids I have in my head and how my hair is parted. You wanna do the braids small if you wanna replicate this look. Okay, for the final segment of this hairstyle, we are doing some French braids, cornrows, whatever you wanna call them, okay? So I just take some hair gel and I push that on the hair behind the braid that I'm about to braid so no hair is like flying all over the place. And another thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pin all your hair out of the way because it's just gonna make it so much easier for you to braid and not pick up any unwanted hair, okay? I was doing that a lot. 
So when you braid your hair in French braids, you wanna start with a small strand and gradually move up inside. The strand will get gradually bigger based on your hair density and how large you want the braid, okay? So everything is gonna be a little bit different for everybody. For me, I'm only using four strands, okay? So I start to braid my natural hair and then I add in this synthetic hair. This is the first piece of synthetic hair. I add it in, lay it against my head, and then I braid down a couple of rotations, and then I pull the synthetic hair into the braid. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and take my first piece of human hair and I'm gonna add it in so that the human hair is falling towards my face, taking the short side of the human hair, placing it under my index finger so I can grab it. And then I'm going to begin to braid, okay? We're not gonna pull the long side of the human hair into the braid. And then I take my third piece of synthetic hair and then I start to braid down a little more and then I take my last piece of synthetic hair, which is the fourth piece, and I add that in and braid down a little more. And then before the braid detaches from my scalp, I like to add in one more piece of human hair. I make sure there's about two pieces of human hair inside the braid while it's still on my scalp before I start to go down and continue to add the human hair pieces along my braid. Okay. I hope that all makes sense. I know this is a lot for one hairstyle, but like I said, inspiration doesn't always mean replication. And if you can't do this, maybe someone you know can do it for you, okay? It was a struggle for me too. I am a struggle braider when it comes to cornrows. But yes, that is how I did my hair. Again, here's another hair chart and you'll know how many, how many pieces are on each braid and how many braids I have in my head for the final row for the corn row row. Okay, so let's get into some details that I think that you guys may want to know about this style. So I had three bundles sent to me just to be sure, but I only used one track out of the last bundle. So um, you can really get this hairstyle with two bundles. You do not need three bundles. But if you have a larger size head or if you wanna braid up the nape, I didn't braid up my nape. If you have a larger size head and you wanna braid up the nape of your neck, definitely recommend the three bundles. And then as far as the bulk hair, this is how much hair I have left out of the two bundles, okay? So yeah. It's a fuller style and I love that because it, it just came out so beautiful. This hair is beautiful, okay? But this is how much is left on that third bundle. This is what the track looks like, okay? Yeah. After I did my hair, I went ahead and just sprayed it with a little bit of water. Like I didn't put a lot, like I used my little mister, sprayed it a little bit, and then I used my unbrush and brushed it and used like two pumps of Lotta Body Foam on each side. So pumped it in my hand and then brushed it through. And then I like to let my hair just air dry and it didn't even take that long. It probably took like 20, 30, 20 minutes to dry. It didn't take long at all. But yeah, these are the results that we have. Um, I'm not gonna be dousing my hair down heavily with water and product. If you guys watch my videos, you know, I don't like to like weigh the hair down with product. I don't like the like heavy, sticky looking. I like it to be loose and flowy and stuff like that. Um, yeah, let me see. Oh, as far as me sleeping at night, I'll just be putting, I'm gonna divide my hair into two and then I'll just twist up one side, twist up the other side. Put my scarf on push my hair back and then i'll be good to go making sure that all my hair is inside of my scarf put all your hair inside of your scarf or your bonnet and then you know you'll be good to go to sleep a lot of times people want to know if you know hairstyles are heavy this is not a heavy hairstyle if you've worn bundles before then it's the same thing and that's what i like about this even though it's a fixed style the hair is just the hair is just lightweight. It's majority human hair. I didn't use a lot of synthetic hair, literally close to like one pack. Another thing that I wanna mention, this is bundles. So you're gonna have to detangle it. It's not gonna be like a carefree type of situation. Even though it's a fixed style, you're still gonna have to brush through and maintain your hair. So, you know, just keep that in mind. This is not one of those set it and forget it. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you to Y Wigs for this beautiful hair. Okay, Y Wigs is coming through with the bundles. We've always done bulk hair with Y Wigs, but these bundles are giving. Okay, hair is beautiful. The loose wave texture is very, very, very beautiful. Yeah, thank you again to Y Wigs and thank you guys for watching my channel and supporting me. And I will see you guys later. Bye.